As the left pulled, well, leftward, the top of the continent was pulling free of the other side of Eurasia, and of course Greenland. As a result, these islands broke off and strung out like beads on a string. As a result of this pulling apart, there is a massively weakened and stretched out U-shaped area of land. It's demarked down the left by these lakes, which are stretch marks. On the right side is the St. Lawrence Seaway. Examine how clear it is that this area has been pulled up and out of this right side. And the explosive focus of this eruptive pulling is the Great Lakes. You may have been taught in school that the Great Lakes and other lakes were carved out by glaciers. This is simply not true. When we go backward in time, the St. Lawrence Seaway will reclose as we expect. More significantly, as all this happens, the Great Lakes will close. And as we go forward in time, the eruptive spreading of the land moving apart tears open and creates the Great Lakes at this key focal point. This is the origin of the Great Lakes.